One of the most common treatments for cancer is chemotherapy. Regardless of where a tumor is located, a patient is prescribed a treatment to shrink the mass. But for many, the drug simply doesn't work. So they may get three months of treatment and then, after, and then do re repeat scans and find that the cancer is still there, it's grown, it's not responded. That amounts to three months of wasted time for a patient. Okay, okay, let's... Dr. Lorenzo Ferry at the McGill University Health Center found a possible solution with a team of researchers, a way to predict which patient will respond to treatment using a computer chip. It's where you can put different cancer cells or different types of the cancer cells on top and inside this chip. The chip is treated with chemotherapy to see if and how the cancerous cell responds. Essentially, the treatment is tested on a tiny patient sample to see if it's worth giving to a patient. I can take a biopsy and four to six weeks later, I know exactly what drug's gonna work in that patient. What's fascinating to doctors is that several drugs can be tested at once. So that's 3,000 drugs, and that we can do that within four weeks of a biopsy. Organ chip technology first saw the light of day around a decade ago. What's new with this approach this is, the chip and is that every patient's tumor has its own tailored chip. So it's patient specific and it's clinically relevant and at the end it's, it's promising. The study conducted in collaboration with Harvard researchers has been tested on eight patients with encouraging results. Clinical trials are the next step expected to take place within the next year. In the meantime, work is ongoing. Research never ends, so we will keep on adding uh, different avenues and uh, different aspects of cancers. And the possibilities of finding more efficient shortcuts to treatment and care continue. Phil Carpenter, Global News, Montreal.